squares. Uh, square is not at all new topic to any of you and all of you must be knowing about the basic concepts of square. But when you are taking exams like CAT, it is always advisable to get acquainted with few of the underlying concepts of any topic and square is no exception. Try to remember squares up to 30. Yes, this is my very first advice. Obviously, even if you, if you can remember m more than 30, it is always good. But at least you should remember and learn by heart squares of number up to 30. Okay. What about squares of numbers after 30? Let us see this by example. 31 square. You can write 31 as please uh, uh, just excuse me as far as my handwritings are concerned I always say this 30 plus 1 the whole square. So this is 900 plus 60 plus 1 that is a square plus 2ab plus p square and the answer is 961 yes always write down in this structure instead of writing it this way because it becomes easier to add them up okay so few have the tendency to write it like this that you have 900 plus 60 plus one but the thing is in your school days the paper was being checked exams like cat the answer only matters and uh, method hardly matters or I must or I can say it does not matter you just need to reach the right answer that's it let us move ahead squares of any number that is a perfect square now what is the perfect square uh, f uh, 4 is a perfect square that is 4 is a square of 2 uh, 2 times 2 uh, it is not a perfect square obviously it contains three twos so when you will take the square root of 4 you will get answer as 2 but if you will take square root of 8 you will get answer of you will get answer as 2 root 2 okay I'm sorry for this uh, so let us understand this concept a square of any number perfect square always ends in either of the following digits that is it can end in 0 1 4 5 6 and 9 question is why pretty simple let us understand if a unit place of a number is 1 then square will have its unit place as 1 into 1 and it will be 1 the unit place of number is 2 then the square of that number will end in 2 cross 2 that is 4 the unit place of the number is 3 then square of that number will be 3 cross 3 and it will be 9 square of the number is 4 I mean unit place of the number is 4 sorry for that uh, the number will end in I mean, uh, then the unit place will be four, 4, 4 cross 4, that is 16, so unit place will be 6, this is 9, huh? unit place of a number is 5, then the square will end in 25, that is again 5 at the unit place. Okay, then I just replace this equal to with this arrow sign just to indicate that this is not actually equal to we are just indicating the unit place okay then the square that is 6 square is 36 and will end in 6 any number ending with 7 will have 7 into 7 at its unit place that is 49 and the unit place will be 9 
in case of 8 it will be again 4 because 8 square is 64 in case of 9 it will be 1 because 9 square is 81 so it will be 1 in case of 10 or any dem number ending with 0 it will be obviously be 0 so the thing is the perfect square can never end in 2 3 7 8 now this concept is very important when you have a question with very big numbers at hand let us see how to determine if a given number is perfect square or not the key is a perfect square has all its factor in pair of 2 if this condition is fulfilled then the given number is a perfect square I'll just mention as I just mentioned the previous slide 4 contains 2 times 2 8 contains 3 2's 2 2 2 so what happens is this 2 times 2 uh, when you take the square root gives 1 2 so it is a perfect square that is 4 is a perfect square but over here this 1 2 um, uh, will remain under root so this is not a perfect square this concept you have to apply to bigger numbers also how we will see on the next slide and also I would like to uh, uh, quote one, one more point about this is that uh, a perfect square will always end in these numbers but that does not mean that all the numbers ending with these numbers at a unit place are perfect squares that is converse of this statement is not true okay yes which of the following is not a perfect square now we just saw right now that a perfect square can never end in 2 3 7 and uh, 2 3 7 and 8 so this is 7 so this is not a perfect square but hang on just um, so on a previous slide I mentioned that it is not necessary that if the number is ending in 6 and 9 it has to be a perfect square ok so let us analyze this problem a bit 100856 ending in 6 is divisible by 2 because it is a even number um, it would be divisible by 4 also as last two digits are divisible by 56 uh, last, last two digits are divisible by 4 it will be divisible by 8 also so 8 is basically 3 3 2's ok now if it is divisible by 16 then and then you can say that this is a perfect square because then only you will get one more 2 that is 4 2's but if you will see this number won't be divisible by 16 now divisibility of 16 says that if last 4 number are divisible by 16 then the entire number will be divisible by 16 and that won't be the case over here so you can't have one more 2 with these numbers and so this number is not a perfect square ok now obviously if this is not a perfect square this is not a perfect square when you have 2 as an answer you can definitely opt for this option directly because we are asked to determine which of the following is not a perfect square but still to analyze the situation I am going to explain I am going to explain you how this works now in this case obviously this is not even number and it is not divisible by 2 ok let us go for 3 9 to the 18 and 7 plus 2 9 is 27 and again this 2 will add up to 9 it will add up to 36 36 is divisible by 3 ok for this number to be a perfect square it has to be divisible by 9 also yes but this summation is again divisible by 9 also so this number is also divisible by 9 that is it is divisible by 3 cross 3 ok still let us see further if this number is divisible by and 27 for that we need to divide this number by 9 first that is 9 1 by 9 0 9 5 the 45 and uh, 0 9 8 the 72 9 1 the 9 okay 
8, 9, 10, 15. Yes, this would be divisible by 3. So this number will be divisible by 27 also. 3, 3 is a 9. Uh, 3, 1 is a 3, 2 left. 3, 6 is a 18. Sorry, 3, 3 is a 9, 1 left. Uh, just excuse me for this. I just made some mistake over here. Uh, uh, 3, 3 is a 9, left 1, 3, 5 is a 15, and then 0, 3, 2 is a 6, left 2, 1, 3, 7 is a 21. Now, so this 27 will divide this number. Now, let us see further. 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 16, 17. Oh my god. Now, this won't be dissolved by 3. So, this also is not a perfect square. And so, as I said, the answer would be all of these. Okay. So, thank you guys. And if you, I hope this video will help you. And do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do subscribe to my blog. Uh, this is my blog address and and please do share this video further with your friends that will help me a lot also thank you thank you very much